There used to be a disabled section as well upstairs, isn't it? Obviously, no, not in the disabled But that's a vibe. On no, that's my a vibe. life. How about Look this? Me in my eyes and say Wallahi, sure. there was a story now where when brother, he came with a limp. Pretending like he had a limp, innit? No, I'm done. <laughs> Aye, next question. That's wrong. Am I lying? No, 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 that's wrong. Don't really, he came, he came with a limp. <laughs> Open the door now, I'm just saying. Wow. Hey, man. Yeah. Yo, guys, it's Chunks. Yeah, man, it's Young Philly. It's your girl, Nella Ray. Yes, we are back with a new series of Think Twice, the show where we talk about the hottest topics in the world right now. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about life. Yes, but before we begin, make sure you've liked, commented, and most importantly, subscribed, and hit that notification bell, because it lets you know when we upload it. Let's get into it! So first up is agree or disagree. Yes, we hear a statement and we have three seconds to decide whether we agree or disagree with the statement. Yes, we'll then discuss the topic for five minutes and decide whether we want to stick to our answer or change our minds. Let's go. People follow trends instead of going where they want to go. Agree or disagree? Yeah, last one big trend. We all had kickers, Just Do It bags, Blackberries, Sony Ericsson's, what iPhone, we all got iPhone now. Instagram was made, oh what? Man and got Insta, yeah, let's get Insta. New one, Snap, oh my God, Bradley, Jacob and Shaniqua on Snap, let's make Snap. But no one likes to admit that where we follow trends. This trend thing is mad because when I was growing up, wigs was for aunties, you know? Like yeah. if you wore a wig, you was an auntie. Yeah, like. they came into fashion not too yeah, long ago, innit? Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm, never, I'm doing, because before it was sewings, innit? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm going to get my sewing, my leave out, my sewing, my leave out. And then when people wear wigs, it's like, you're wearing a wig. Now, <laughs> is that a wig? I'm asking. Well, you got to remember, we're mandem, so he's, I don't not, know. he's not meant to know. It, I only clock because of the way you're chatting. That's that's but, 28 oh, frontals. God, setting trends is even some sort of marketing. Like for example, yeah, I like them. I start seeing them everywhere. Do you know what I mean? I start seeing them on every advert, and they start <gasps> pushing it more. They start pushing it on your. They, it starts coming up on my Instagram ads. Alright, cool. Let me flip it. Oof. It might not technically be We're following trends. Oof. It might not be following, because at the end of the day, if something's good, then everyone's going to want it. So say for example now, an iPhone. If now Philly buys an iPhone, I buy one tomorrow, I'm not following the trend, I'm just because it's reliable. Actually. Phone. Give me something you consider a trend. Apple. These Samsungs they'll be doing backflips on itself. Shall I tell you what it is? Shall I tell you what it is? I've seen some Samsung. Say for example, example, you've had an iPhone from iPhone 6, right? I've had it since iPhone Familiarity. 4. Familiarity. You're not going to want to change to a Samsung because of the fact yeah. you know how this works. It's not necessarily following trends. I feel like people are comfortable. How's that not no, following a trend? A trend trend's different, bro. Trend, I feel like make clothing, like wearing clothes and stuff. That's a trend. And like, say for example, you see your favorite celebrity wearing flary bottoms. Everyone was violating them four years ago, but now because my well, iPhone's it, not the cool. only good reliable phone. It's because everyone has it, you buy it. Like it is a trend to social Because iPhone is actually a phone. Is it? I think it's a great phone. Apple, Apple, I love you, Apple. No, no, I'm not, I'm not just looking. Like, it's so reliable, there's this pods that you can- yeah. How much do you like, love Apple? I'm just saying what I'm saying. Everything's Apple, yeah. if you didn't realise. And why does Apple make you feel good? Because you of the are, fact- You lot are mad. It, it just, it runs smooth. Yeah. Um, yeah. Guys, it's you just want the, media you looks want the iPhone 12. Yeah. I like I iPhone. Just give it to you. Yeah. And, and when you use your iPhone, mm. what feeling does it give you? It gives me uh, a premium feel. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you it's very, it's very you fake. It's you very reliable. It's very reliable and you're look, for example, fake, look, this you're drop, fake, you're it's fake, not you're broken. <laughs> it's not. Whereas if it was something like a Samsung, for example, <laughs> it might have broke. No, Samsung, I do love you, you too. Do oh, Samsung, I do. I also fake. like you as well. <laughs> Let me like this. I do like you. You have the right money. <laughs> yeah. I think the the Apple thing is when I clocked that it was a trend, yeah, because every year you complain about the same things. They don't want to change it. Yeah, because they want to keep they want to keep making you come back. We asked for group FaceTime like five years ago. They only want to do it now because it's like they want to make you keep coming back. But when you actually deep it, some of these other phones have the nice. That's business. Cameras. This is business. Oh, this is Why would you make the ultimate iPhone 13? Who's gonna buy the 14? Okay, but don't. But when the 14 comes out, them. when the 14 comes out, don't f my I, my Apple 13. Is not a conspiracy. Shall I tell you what it is? It's because they released a new iOS. That means that your phone actually can't hack the iOS that they currently operate on. Yeah, but they do that on guys, purpose. Bro. Apple, give him the iPhone. Guys, can you just. No, they don't do that on purpose Run because Apple, we love, love you. you. <laughs> we love you. Apple. Apple is one of the greatest products ever. How much do we love them, champ? <laughs> we love them this much. This <laughs> much! Life is a trend. Mm, Back in the days, everyone used to wear baggy jeans. You would not wear baggy jeans now. Flares now. Mm. Never in a million years. But that was the same. But then, for example, would. now, you see. Uh, 
21 Savage Future and that man all rocking baggy jeans. On my life, there's going to be people that are rocking baggy jeans. Yeah, yeah, Carl, Carl. That's enough, following the trend. Not enough. That's following the trend. You need, you need, That's following the trend. You need more... <laughs> Okay, all right, next question, because he's, he's got, yeah. But do we agree or disagree that, yeah, that we reckon, follow trends or not? I reckon, I reckon, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to split, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split. No, I'm going to do this one, I agree, man. Uh, there, okay, look, there are some sheeps in the world, but there are some lions. Yeah, okay, cool, I, I agree. I just want to play devil advocate, guys, I completely agree. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This round is called Imagine That. We'll have three scenarios, but we can only choose one option. Yes, then we'll have a debate and see who's got the better argument. Imagine that. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's go. Out of everyone's first job, you have to pick one. Who would you rather do for the rest of your life? So mine was a kitchen porter. You were a porter. You used are. to clean for the, the plates though. Yeah, so basically I was the guy that used to wash all the plates in the restaurant. Yeah. What was your first job? I was basically doing hair and makeup. Yeah, yours? Silly world. Yeah, I'll take mine. No, actually, I'll take yours. I'll take yours. I was doing hair makeup for my friends, so they were just paying me, like, but it was like £10 here, £15 there. Yeah, me and my friends was doing, like, people's eyebrows and stuff, because, you know, getting your eyebrows done back in the day, it was, like, the equivalent of, like, you know, lashes nowadays. You know, when they get their infills, that's the equivalent to that back then, so. Say you're, you're a hairdresser and you do someone's hair wrong. You're on shape, bro. You're getting blo yeah. blasted. You're on shape, bro. Yeah, you're not allowed day. to make no mistakes that stairs. I'm not doing that. So long now, I, would, I wouldn't I would be like a makeup artist still a hairdresser now. I thought, yeah, boot off, just eat some popcorn and watch films with Amanda. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, I became a cleaner. Um, I'm, I'm very effective now. I can clean everything. Yeah, but, but popcorn on the floor, like what? So uh, can so we that. all agree that we'd pick Chunks' job? 100%. Hard. Life. 50% of food. You must have seen people clarting in there as well. Yep. Yep, Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, when the first came out. Goodness me, the amount of condoms I saw in that place. <laughs> the scenes were crazy as well, goodness me. Going in there, there'll be people coming for like a 12 p.m., 1 p.m. Um, showing, because they know that's no one in there. They're just collating in the corner of the flipping thing. What, you see everything? Ud, us, everything. <laughs> Ud, us. <laughs> <laughs> They're disgusting. Oh. No, but I'm saying like... No, because there, there used to be there used to be a disabled section as well, upstairs, isn't it? Obviously, no, really. not in a disabled section. But there, that's a viral. Oh, no, that's a viral. Look at this? me in my eyes and say One you One lie, there was a story now where when brother, he came with a limp. Pretend like he had a limp in it. No, I'm done. <laughs> Aye, next question. That's wrong. Oh, my life, no, 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 that's wrong. Don't really, you came, would do he came that. with a limp. Came with a limp. Told man, yeah, brother, can I get um the disabled seats? Because I can't, I can't walk up the stairs. He said, because you can't, you can't walk up the stairs, innit? You know what I'm saying? You can't walk up the stairs. <laughs> so obviously, it's a straight elevator to the thing, innit? So I said, yeah, cool, call my supervisor. The supervisor busted now. I open the door now. I'm just saying. Wow. I said, unless. Not even a little light, like, a little yeah. just. Don't want no one to know, Bro. so let me just. Unless he's trying to make a beat in there. Unless he's trying to make a beat or he's a drummer. Something's going on in there. I open it. You know? I see her legs wrapped around him, fully naked. Good sesh. He's having fun. You know and guess what? what? Good he sesh. He didn't have a limp there. So I said, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but you know me, I, it was way too cringe. So I just turned back out, called the supervisor. The supervisor, all of a sudden you see them come downstairs laughing. Hey, hey. This guy's running down the stairs, bro. Where's that limp? Where's the limp? <laughs> Apart from that, yeah, it was very good. Everyone used to try and film. You know you can't take a phone out and film Apple. Uh, not even like, snap. Know, nothing. So for example, like, when it done. says in the beginning, this is a film and 15 and that. A lot of people put on the snaps. If someone catches you, you're done for. Done. <laughs> yeah. Get banned from all the cinemas uh, in London and that. Yeah, crazy. I've never done that a couple of times. Good times, good times. Avengers, I was all up in there. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's it was not me. Yeah. <laughs> I used to work me. there and I still film. Sorry if you're still there, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I've got about 17 minutes of, uh, what's that film? King, what was it? Kingdom? Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, yeah. And we all agree to uh, Kingsman. <laughs> I've got about 12 minutes of footage of Kingsman. Fifty Shades of Grey. If you want to buy that off me, let me know. 3 99 I can sell that. HD. Is it, he's a pirate now, isn't it? Who? Pirate copies. Can I say pirate because I'm Somali? Yeah? Say now. Oh. Cool. Yeah, say now. Yeah, say now. <laughs> you see? No, you see? I got you now. <laughs> yeah, all that fat shaming there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We one, got one, you. One, 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 yeah. one. Cool, so yeah. last but not least, we can all agree that we're going to do Chunks' job. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. And I was trading, though. You was trading? Yeah. So I was just like the, the telly sales guy. Go on, go on, go on. I think that's go what kind of made me so... Go on, do the phone voice. I love you this, man. Uh, it's William Shaw. Uh, I understand you received one of our uh, brochures through the post. No, I didn't. I didn't receive anything. Yeah, completely fine. So listen, I understand at the moment, um, I can see the... here you're invested in some stocks and some properties, but you know, the fine wine is absolutely booming at the moment. Wow, what's the fine wine? At uh, the fine wine, we got, you know, the Lafitte Rothschild, you know, 1970. Yeah, I know yeah, my wine. Take all my money. This round is called Deeper, and you probably guessed that we're going to be talking about the deeper issues in life. 
We're basically going to be discussing each topic for five minutes, see how much ground we can cover, and that's on period. <laughs> You're not ready yet? <laughs> that's on period. That was funny. Right, let's go. Is it the parents' fault or the government's fault that children are going hungry? <laughs> off, man. <laughs> off. Yeah? <laughs> off. The government are taking the what do you mean, is it the parents' fault? What, you're telling me now you're coming from a war stricken country and you're trying to better the life of your family and you want to be earning millions straight away? Does but that then even there's make people sense? here that were born and grew up here their whole lives and they're. I'm, I'm just talking about having alcohol the people addiction. That are similar to my parents. Yeah. And because of that, the youth's not eating because you want to go buy that's, that last bottle of ace. Okay, now that's, that's a situation Fine. that we all, all touch on. Mm. I'm just talking about the fact that, say for example, yeah, come, let, people always violate. Put it this way, let's talk Marcus Rashford. So, Marcus Rashford, obviously. Absolute G, bro. Hey, round of applause for Marcus Rashford. <laughs> So he, he obviously grew up not having that much bread, similar, to us. similar to us, I'm, yeah. I'm guessing. Um, parents probably were working. I don't, I don't know much about his family life, but yeah. I know that for a fact that he had preschool meals. And then the, now they're just trying to suck that from the kids then, which for me is ludicrous. Because without free school meals, I would have starved through yeah, school. 110%. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's a thing where my parents didn't have enough peace to just drop me fifty pound a week, and I didn't have that. You know what I mean? And you have a few brothers and sisters. Yeah, so I've, got, I've got I've got one brother, three everyone. sisters as well. So you have to think about it now. If you're giving fifty pound a week to your youth, them and you're already like struggling to, I mean, make buy kind of thing. How, is it not the government's like right? Like, do you not have to get involved now and think? Oh, you know what? This is gonna cost us X amount. You spend this much on other. F you might as well just look after the youth. I don't even think the expenditure matters, fam. Like, if I was like control of the government, like, that's one place I would not care about going into debt, in, fam. Like, feeding youths, fam. Like, literally. Bro, you know, you know this little debt we're talking about? It's never going to get paid off. Yeah, no, of course not, of course not, of course not. So, what are you talking about going into debt and that? Loud up, man. Just mm. put the But do you, know what, do you know what? Really, that's why, to me, this is mad emotional because it's like, my mum's working two jobs because she's trying to make a living, yeah. At one point, it was me, my brother, my mum and my auntie living in one room in a three-bedroom house and every other room was occupied, yeah. So obviously, seeing that, you're just like, you know what, I need to go to school, I need to behave, all of that. So my mum... the New York. So it's like, obviously, I'm not putting blame on her. Like, she grinded for us to get to where we are here, but it'll be time where there'll be no food in the house. So it's like, I'll go to school, just having breakfast club. Do you remember breakfast yeah, club? Yeah, of course. Just just going to school and just having breakfast at school meant the world to me, like. That chicken baguette with the mayo and the apple juice with the cake and custard. Can't lie, them times I used to eat pork and that pork used to get devoured. Yeah, brazy. Chicken, chicken tours? Yeah, no pork on my fault. You hear what I'm saying? Chicken you mayo can't baguette. take food away from this, kids, This is my man. order, chicken mayo baguette, yeah? The apple juice and the rasclat spring, you know the little sprinkle cake? Why is it a rasclat sprinkle cake? Because it's rasclat, it's guanin. All my life, I used to box that. Let me know how much that cost. I'm gonna, me and Philly will put that up. Mm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I would. I swear to God, I'll do that. Yeah. But obviously, man can't feed the whole I'm flipping thinking, nation yeah, course, with man's bread. No, but I'm saying, obviously, if the apple bill wants like, to come in. Like, if there was like two schools I knew I could feed out of my wage, I swear but to I'm saying, God. If the apple bill wants to come in, that will come Yeah, that, that obviously, the app, and that's why we love you, yeah. because you <laughs> like to help people. So help us help other people, Apple. I think, like, I feel like mm. the Govy should do inspections on who they're busing free school meals to. Nah. Potentially. Nah. No, because then they look, if you're coming from a, a working household mm. where you see the parents are trying their best and they still can't mm. make ends meet, then it's only right to look after the kids yeah. to them. Whereas now, if you've got parents, first of all, if there's parents on substance abuse, you shouldn't mm. be looking after the kid anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you obviously don't prioritise your kid. Yeah. So, but I'm saying there's going to be situations where there, there are parents that are just chilling back at yard, taking mm. the piss, where they can fully work, there's no mental hob like problems, mm. they just generally don't want to work because they don't have a work rate. Now they're expecting for their to be fed. Okay, I, know, that is yeah, the yeah, yeah, I, I still agree. feel like all kids the the should that, be fed though. Like, no, 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 I agree. Know? I agree because the kid, no, 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 but here where he's coming from. He's I, not, I hear yeah, you, I hear you. nothing got to do with the kid. I don't hear the kid, an innocent youth that needs to eat, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, you, like, you also have to understand from where th their point of view, because they're thinking, cool, we're spending an additional X amount. It doesn't make sense because they're taking a us. Reliability or comfortability is dangerous. Yeah. You only become rely reliable on something. You have to now look at it from that point of view. Here, what I'm saying, ban the government. I don't rate them anyway. So I'm, saying, I'm saying pay for all these kids because at the end of the day, they all need to eat. But I, I also get where they're coming from to Extent, but I just like, feel like the point. kids, like, they've actually just done nothing yeah, in this situation. Yeah, no, kids, all kids need they to They just be woke up one day and then that's it. Yeah. Like, I all just feel like family. stuff like that is a bit peak because you never know. Like, some people, yeah, the meal that they have at school, and that was that was my case for, like, three years. The, the meal that you have at school, that's, that's it. You see what I used yeah. to do in school? I used to go to school with no money 
but spends my lunch time, my break time and my lunch time asking everyone in the school Can for 50 p. Can I Bro, that was my hustle. Feet? By the time I'd leave school, I got a fiver. Me and Bruce would you then go reach. McDonald's, and at the time they had one mad deal: two hamburgers, two fries. Ooh, I, I'm ooh, shouting out! I'm shouting out! Two pounds, two I'm hamburgers, two fries. I'm shouting out, my brethren, Jason Zoe. If you're watching this, brother, I love you. You know, he used to do the school, bro. He used to give me a pound every day, on my life. I, I swear to God, no, every day, because he was my best friend. <laughs> so what were you not saying then? Should Gavi? Should, <laughs> should it be the Gavi's? Should it be there? on their head to pay the kids though. 100% yeah. man, like, do you know how much they're spending on Big Ben? Yeah. Big Ben, just to get it renovated. No one asked for that. Like no one actually asked for it, no one. It's like, come on, like just give the, give the kids their food, Eat man. The You're spending though. how much money? Do you know how much money it costs to maintain the Buckingham Palace, but you're starving kids? Shut up, man. Yeah, they just, they're yeah, taking a priority. That's the end of the video, guys. I we hope you- I wanna say it. Even do it then, do it. Before. I wanna say it first. Do it. That's the end, actually, no, you say it, I don't like it. If you get involved, I'm not, I'm not scrapping. That's the end of the video, guys. I want to do it. And that's the end of the video, guys. He has been the lovely. <laughs> that, he has been the lovely. Melly. And I've been Young Philly. Melly. She has been. Melly. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Turn that little bell because it notifies you when Foot Asylum upload a video. I was with my mum once in the, in, in the shopping and that. Someone's phone me saying, yeah, look, Chunks and his mum. You know, I almost broke his phone. <laughs> I almost, I, I almost broke his phone. <laughs> I can imagine. I almost broke. How angry he must have been. You, you know how angry I would have smashed the phone.